morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We're we'll looking at the MACDs, the moving averages, the day support resistance and pivot levels and the Fibonacci's. It is Monday the 13th of September. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against US dollar bearer start to the day. Going to need to Bitcoin move back through the pivot at 45.760 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 46.745. Support's going to be needed for Bitcoin to break out from 46.500 levels. So barring an extended rally on, they expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 47,000 to cap any upside. In the event of an extended rally, you should see Bitcoin target 48,000 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level, so it's at 47,452. Failure to move back through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 45,053 into play. Barring an extended sell on the day, Bitcoin should avoid sub 44s. Second major support level at 44,068 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, being a choppy start to the day, we saw a bullish cross and then a bearish cross this morning, coming off the back of this morning's pullback. So keep an eye out for a widening of the bearish histograms through the morning. On the EMAs, 50 is holding its ground against the 100 and the 200, so look out for direction there as well, currently inconclusive. So key would be for Bitcoin to move back through the pivot 45,760 and move back through to 46,500 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play. Moving across to Ethereum against US dollar, also a bearish morning. Going to see Ethereum move back through the 23.6% fib at 3369 and the pivot at 3370 to take a run at the first major resistance level of 3507. We'll need plenty of support from the broader market for Ethereum to break out from yesterday's high. That was at 3472.99. So barring an extended rally on to expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ethereum target 3,700 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 3,611. Better to move back through the 23.6% FIB and the pivot will bring the first major support level at 3,266 into play. Barring an extended sell on the day, Ethereum should still work clear of sub 3,000 levels. Second major support level at 3,128 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, we have a widening of the bearish histograms early this morning coming off the back of this morning's pullback. So look out for a further widening there. On the EMAs, 50 has held its ground against the 100 and the 200. So look out for a possible narrowing that would provide much needed support. So key would be to move back through the pivot at 3370 and move back through yesterday's high 3472.99 to bring resistance levels into play. Failures to do that and support levels will be in place. Moving across to Litecoin against US dollar, tracking the broader market bearish start. Going to need to see Litecoin move back through the pivot at 181 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 188. We'll need plenty of support from the broader market for Litecoin to break out from 185s. So barring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 190 to cap any upside. In the event of breakout, should see Litecoin target 200 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 192. Failure to move. Back through the pivot would bring the 23.6% FIB at 178 and the first major support level at 177 back into play. Barring an extended sell on the day, Litecoin should avoid the second major support level at 171. Looking at the MACDs, widening of the bearish headscrams at the turn of the day. So look out for a further widening there to suggest further downside. On the EMAs, also bearish 50 pulling back from the 100 and the 200, suggesting further downside ahead. So key would be to move back through the pivot at 181 and move back through to 185 to bring resistance levels into play. Better to do that and support levels will be in play. Finally, looking at Ripple's XRP against the US dollar. Also bearish, going to see Ripple's XRP move back through the pivot at 1.1018 to take a run at the first major resistance level at 1.1451. Support from the broader market will be needed for Ripple's XRP to break out from yesterday's high. It was at 1.12709. Barring an extended rally on they expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, should see Ripple's XRP target 1.2 levels before any pullback. Second major resistance, resistance level sits at 1.1704. Failure to move back through the pivot will bring the first major support level at 1.0765 and the 38.2% FIB at 1.0659 into play. Barring an extended self on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub point one. Zero levels. Second major support level at 1.0351 should limit the downside. Looking at the MACDs, bearish cross early this morning, coming off the back of this morning's pullback. So look out for a further widening of the bearish histograms, 
to suggest downside ahead. On the EMAs, we're seeing the 15 narrow marginally on the 100 and the 200. Uh, so look out for further narrowing there that would provide support. So key would be to move back through the pivot at 1.1018 and move through yesterday's high 1.12709 to bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that and support levels will be in play.